Hello my gorgeous and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to do a swatches and review video on the most talked about on the internet. Yes, this is what we're talking about. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hill Nicole Guerrero palette. So we're just going to do a swatches and review for this glow kit today. Um, I was really going to pick this one up from Anastasia Beverly Hill website but for some reason I did not. So then I realized that Sephora Australia is gonna stock this glow kit. So I was like, okay, so I got another excuse for it. So I recently picked this one up. So if you guys are interested in what I think about it, please keep watching. So as we all know, this is what the packaging look like and it's just a cardboard uh, cover on it. And then you take the glow kit out. The outer packaging is pretty much similar to the actual packaging of the glow kit and when you open it ah, I dropped it. This is what the glow kit look like and then it has this sheet thing in it which I already dropped and it has six shades in it and I got this one probably like three weeks ago and I saw this one I was like ah uh, I don't know if it will work for my skin tone because I have like medium skin tone I was like ah uh, I don't know it has some like gold shade but then it was like peachy orange shade but then it was like so much hyped about on the internet and I haven't tried any glow kit from Anastasia so I was really wanted to try it so then I was like okay you know what I'm gonna get one I was wanted to buy the another one I don't remember I think it's the glow I think it is but it's it's been sold out like every on Anastasia Beverly Hill we don't have it here on Australia's website they have the sun dipped but for some reason I think it's like too dark it's not gonna work for my skin tone um, and the cult beauty it's all out there as well so I was like okay you know what meanwhile I'm gonna get this one so I picked this one up so all right I have talked like I don't know a lot <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump right into the swatches so the first one is kitty cat that's a nice name um, which is kind of like the light pink shade and whoa, this is so smooth and then we have forever young and then we have daydream I'll try to do like proper swatches as well but if I won't get chance to do it then meanwhile we'll probably like deal with this one so the first one we have is kitty cat okay the next second one we have forever young and third one we have daydreamer so yeah this is what the swatches look like oh my god i like put it so far away well done and then we have forever lit and then we have glow glitter and then we have 143 or 143 all right let's do this so this is forever lit that is what is it blow it up and then we have one four what is it one four three so yeah i hope you guys can see it so yeah, this is what the swatches look like. I'll try to do like proper swatches, but if I won't get a chance to do it, we'll have to go with it. <laughs> so yeah, this is what it looks like. I think, yeah, they're like very, very glittery. So if you don't like glitter highlighters, it's not for you. And if you're not like really a fan of, you know, just bam on highlighter, I think you will like it.
I try to take it off just with a normal tissue. So yeah, this is what my arm looks like. A total glittery. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is as I haven't put any highlighter yet, so what are we waiting for? Let's do that. So I'm just gonna use the real technique. I think it's the highlighter brush. Oh, it's a setting brush. So I always use this one for my highlighter and I really like it. How are we gonna use all six? I don't know, but we'll see. Um because the glow getter and the 143, these are like pretty much I think these colors probably like every other brand highlighter color, uh, but it's just like a little bit more bam on. Um, it's it's definitely not probably like all everyday highlighter, but if you like to look bam on highlighter every day. So I'm probably gonna go with I don't know how it's gonna look on my skin tone to be honest. So we're gonna go with a kitty cat, this one. And I'm just going to apply it on one side of my cheekbone. Take it on my brush. Just that much. And then... Whoa! Well, um... It is bam on. This is just like one swatch from the brush. I mean like of course I blend it up but you see how much I picked up. And yeah, I can see like it has very finely mingled glitter in it, but you can actually see like a little bit glitter on the face, if I'm making any sense. Um actually I like it. I was just like a little bit worried. I don't know how this color gonna look on my skin tone, but once it's blended, you can't really tell like which color it is, uh, apart from just like it's glowing from far away. That's all I can say. Um, so the next one I'm gonna go with is this orange shade. Um, this is Daydream, and I'm just gonna use the same brush on just the other side. I'm just gonna pick a little bit and we're gonna apply it on the other side of my face. Alright. Alright. So with this one, this is like true peachy shade which I can really see even like on my face it's kind of peachy this one and uh, the kitty cat one it's like kind of peachy but it has like kind of gold glitter in it so which kind of like give you the effect of a gold highlighter like gold silverish highlighter it's kind of mixed whereas this one you can actually see the peach color on my skin I mean like I can see it, I don't know if like someone else is in front of me watching me if that person will be able to see it. Um, so yeah, so both of these shades are glittery but um, the kitty cat is a lot more bam on, like a lot more showing compared to the daydreamer. So yeah, that's that. Um, the next one I'm gonna go with Forever Young, which is the middle shade, and I'm just gonna take it on the top of my brush. I don't know if you're able to see it or not, and I'm gonna apply it on my nose. I'm not able to tell like which shade does it look like it's it's pretty much like blend into my skin but of course I can see that um, it's shining and um, I think it's pretty much like all of the shade has glitter in it which 
I did not expect it to be that good to me to be honest because I think because everyone's saying it's like very finely milled it's like very fine glitters in it but it is it is definitely it has glitter and you can actually see it all right so the next color I'm gonna go with where should I apply it I don't know um forever lit which is kind of like silver shade I have never tried that color highlighter so I'm gonna apply it on my cupid okay I'll probably have to blend this one because this is like really silver glitter bad I mean you can use it as a lip topper um, or just like right on the cupid because I don't think so I will be able to wear this color as a highlighter um, or should I try it all right what we're gonna do is I'm gonna apply it on the top of daydreamer Can I just oh uh, all right yeah so this is like silver silver color. I, I don't know if I will be able to use this one as a highlighter. Yeah. Or probably like mix with other, other color I will be able to use it as a highlighter but just by itself I don't think so it will look good on my skin tone. Um, I can use it for inner corners or as an eyeshadow. Or just mix it with another color to use as a highlighter. So that's that. Two more colors. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. Alright, I know what to do. Should I do it? I don't know. I already have, like sparkly eyes, but whatever. Alright, so we're gonna go with the glow glitter, and I'm gonna apply it underneath my brow bone because my right so I just took that much on my brush all right I'm just gonna apply it on one side and then I'm gonna go with 143 on the other brown one All right. Well, even these colors, they're like very, very glittery. I don't really know how I feel about it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the brush. I'm gonna put some Mac Fix Plus. I'm gonna go with the glow glitter so I'll just see like if it's showing the glitteriness even if you apply wet if I'm making any sense um how am I gonna go this side Alright, so if I use it like on a wet brush, I can see that it's really, like really nice, finely milled a highlighter on this side. But on the other side, I did use a wet brush, but like it, it pretty much like got all the wetness on this side. I can see like glitters on this side. So I can't see any glitters on this side. But on this side, I am still able to see like a little glitter. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it on the camera. I can totally see the difference in person. So if you apply with a wet brush, it's not that glittery. But if you apply with the dry brush, it is. You can see the glitter sitting on your skin. I didn't expect it to be that glittery actually because 
I am a really big fan of highlighters, like BAM on highlighters, but I don't like the highlighters which have like glitters in it, which actually showing on your skin. But I think if I'll like use a wet brush, I will be alright. So yeah, so my final thoughts about it, I like it. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed because all of the shade has kind of like a little bit glitters in it. I don't like the will be glitter, but not like every single shade. But with this one, pretty much every single shade has like very tiny little glitters in it, uh, which I'm not really a fan of. But um, but then because I can apply it with a wet brush, uh, thank God it's not as intense. Um, Glitters if you apply with a wet brush. If you like glittery highlighters or bam on highlighters, definitely get that one. But if you're not really a fan of glittery highlighters, um, I would suggest to go with the another glow kits because I'm pretty sure the another ones are not as glittery as this. So this is the first time I'm using it today. Um, I will use it in the future because I was really going to do a first impression and review on this one. So that's why I did not use that one. But I will use this one more and then I'll get back to you like what I think about it. What's my thoughts about it. Um, does it worth the hype or not? I think it worth the hype just for the people who like glitters on in their highlighters. If you don't like glitters, this one is not for you. So yeah, so that's that. Last thing I will be saying that it's not like everyday highlighter kit. You won't be able to wear these highlighters to your work, I would say. I mean like if you're going to the parties, you're attending special events and all that, it's a really good highlighter because it's your face will be glowing like from far away. <laughs> But it's not an everyday highlighter and yeah, my suggestion is if you have already bought it and you don't like the glitter in it, um, yeah, definitely use it with a wet brush and yeah, it should be fine. Or the other thing we can do, hang on a sec, what I'll do is I'm just gonna apply MAC Fix Plus on my face. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually get a beauty blender and I'm just going to kind of um, press everything into my skin to see if, if, if this does make a difference because that's what I normally do. I do my makeup, I apply my blush, my highlighter and everything and then I'll put MAC Fix Plus and then I will take a beauty blender. Sorry, it's a bit dirty because um, I just used it. Um, so I'll take a beauty blender and I'll just kind of press everything into my skin to get like right from the powderiness I would say um all right yes this does make a difference actually um, I mean, I'm still able to see glitters, but it's not as intense as it was before. So, yeah, you can do that as well. So you can even get your brush or just like apply face spray after your makeup, like a setting spray. And then just get a damp beauty blender and then just like press everything in. Um, that will make it kind of like let glittery if this is what or any other highlighter which is like extra kind of glittery for you of course it's gonna intensify um, the color it will be like more bam on because you wet the brush so the color gonna get more intense but then it won't be that glittery as it was before or like more powdery if I'm if it making any sense Alright guys, so we're just gonna wrap up the video here. I hope you guys liked the video. It was kind of like all over the place in this video. Um, yeah, so if you guys liked the video, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye gorgeous.